Hi, I'm Gregoire and I'm from the band Keys and tonight I'm going to do show you a bit of content on how we are using a iPhone SE 2020 as a musical instrument. Um, you can do this with any iOS device and we are using GarageBand, uh, which I believe is free with um, iOS. Um, I think it's also available on Mac, so you could do that, although a MacBook or an uh, iMac won't have quite the same user interface, which is a key part of what I'm going to be showing you today. So, <clears throat> I have GarageBand, it is there. We've got uh, it set up for the key of the song that we're doing, which is a song called Sweep Me Out to Sea, um, and it's really, really, really quite an interesting thing you've got literally you are playing this like an instrument i feel i almost have to practice with this uh because it does actually have quite a lot of expression which is why i was saying we tried to do this with a midi keyboard but it just didn't have the nuances believe it or not as you can get from literally playing the screen with your finger so if i so i've got this here i've got my um Let's have a listen to it. So depending where you press on the uh, screen will determine whether you start with a higher note. So that's a G. If I start from the bottom and go up, you can see how it changes. And also, depending on how fast I move my finger back and forth, will also change the velocity. Which is pretty clever. I mean, remember, this is a phone. So we're using it on this track, and I'm now going to bring up my chord progression, written on the back of a bank statement, and we're going to record this in stages so i'm going to first of all just start off with the um with two bar intro so if you go to pro tools and let's give this a go So there you go, literally, that was my first part. So we're gonna look at Pro Tools quickly and you'll see the, uh, the audio, file, audio file has been put in. We're gonna solo it. I have got a reverb on it, so I am going to cut the reverb at the moment. And let's have a listen to this. pretty good in it. So if we take one that I did before where I was able to change the nuances and then blend it with another take where I varied where I play on the phone, you can really build up quite a thick texture. So, bring that in with the reverb. So what I will do is I'll do a variety of different takes and, and press different areas on the screen uh, to really build up quite a string orchestration. Uh, is that actually a word? Almost sound like I said castration, which is a very totally different thing. But anyway, so there you go. That is what uh, we're doing. Uh, so yeah, you have if you have an iPhone or an iOS device, you have access to these things too. So definitely uh, try them out. Um, 
One thing Apple have done is that they've made it so you can actually connect it to your Mac or your computer via um, a lightning cable now. So you don't need to buy any other device, which is a good thing because the new um, Apple devices don't actually have a headphone socket, which makes things quite difficult. So there you go. If you have any comments or questions, write them in the box beneath. Smash that subscribe button. I need to do something here. Otherwise, it looks just like I'm pointing in the air. And uh, yeah, we will keep you updated. We'll show you the next process using the Yacht Machines Bisqueeze so you get an idea of why I think it is a good additional tool to use to make something less pristine. Anyway, stay safe and we'll see you soon.